Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning into Multitasking. The Remus store pick today. Remus. So, a few years back, Remus. The roll of that tongue. Remus, do it. No. Come on. I don't cave to peer pressure. Remus. That's one of the many awesome things about being me. It's fun. <laughs> Your mom's fun. I know. So many moons ago, I thought I dropped the bottle there. Uh, Remus switched to a uh, single barrel for their uh, store picks. Uh, which I recommend you get in general. Store picks are always awesome because you can get a different variation of a national release. And what liquor store did you get this from? Central Wine and Spirits. Shout, Shout out, out to Jeffrey from Central Wine and Spirits. This has a mash bill of 51% corn. It is a 39%, ladies and gentlemen, 39% rye and a 10% malted barley. 56.6 is the ABV, oh, so 113.2 proof. Uh, that sounds like a fun time. That sounds like a greatly fun time. Ross and Squib, and I like that it has Ross and Squib on here. Uh, that, that's the first ball I've seen that did that since they switched for the name of MGP. Squib is fun to say too. Ross and Squib. Remus and Squib. Anyway, what you getting on the nose there, Jean Murray? Appreciate you uh, subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us, thumbs down if you don't like me. Now what did you get? I get the corn. Um, yeah. I do. I get a lot of corn on here. Yeah, a lot of corn. Surprise. This is corn in the field. Um, it's somehow it just turned to October, November, Ooh. and we're in a corn maze. Great football months. Yeah. Great well, corn maze months. We're doing corn maze right now, so I'm yeah. sure there's football going on, but you're gonna have to miss it because we're gonna walk through a corn maze right now. Now I want apple cider and bourbon. Oh, apple cider and bourbon. bourbon. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready for. I'm ready for October. Well, November. you're wearing long sleeves like it's October, November. Well, it's cold down here. It's always cold in the basement, and this is where our our bars at. It's about 110 degrees. It's 110 outside. Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. <laughs> anyway, what else do I get on this? I get what? I'm, I'm just. Oh, taking, you're looking at the ceiling. Stretching my neck. These are, I, you said it was really high mash bill of a, a, it had a lot of rye. rye in it. I'm not getting any rye on this nose. I get a lot of bourbon notes. By bourbon notes, I mean brown sugar, vanilla, caramel, some oak. Um, I, it smells spicy. So for me, the spearmint is there. The rye is absolutely there. Do you? Yeah, I get oak, I get uh, soft spearmint, I get some bacon spices, I get um, so, some, there's something in here that reminds me of hot chocolate with small marshmallows, but I don't know what that is. It's not chocolate, but there's something in here that just conveys that to me. There's some nutmeg in here. Maybe it's because of the time of season I just painted in your picture and you're like, oh, I need hot chocolate hot now. Hot chocolate is a December only tongue. drink, thank you very much. Or, I'm going in. Unless you're from the other part of the hemisphere, then it is a July drink. So there you go. Have a good one, Miss Jean. Mm. Is that ABV getting you? Mm. <laughs> mm. Words, man. Words. Mm. Okay. So here's what I have. I just finished walking through that corn maze. And at the, after you finish it, you go up and you're like, you pick your pumpkin out because you're also at a pumpkin farm. And they have like these stands. And at one of these stands, they got your hot cider, but they also have candied apples. They have spicy candy. I don't know why they came up with a spicy candy apple, but they made a spicy candy apple. And I took a bite of it. Before I get to the apple innards, I'm not talking about apple innards. I'm talking about the spicy candy mm -hmm. coating of this candy apple. That's a great and accurate description of what's going on in my mouth. It's <laughs> lovely sweetness. Love perfect. I would say perfect sweetness. Um, I, I get your, it's like a, a lightly habanero candied apple. Um, I get that. So that, I just kind of attributed that because I took a huge drink. I'm like, well, I took too big of a drink. Then you articulate exactly what's going on my mouth. That paint the whole thing? Well, Did you go I, through it with me? Same time. Same time, man. Yeah, same doing. time. Same. We had an explosion at the same time. <laughs> That's what we did. Simultaneous explosions. This is a good time. I'm going to go back in now. Yeah. I'll get you another one. Uh, there's a nice long finish it's got nice 
cinnamon, like that red hot, the red hot uh, little teeny tiny candies is what I got going on. Mm -hmm. So we're aging a single malt right now at Blackland uh, in, in Fort Worth, Texas. If I had to do another mash bill for it, we're AJS whiskey again. I love this mash bill. This is a good job, Jeff. This is a great uh, rendition of whiskey here. Uh, it's a truly high rye, which is phenomenal. Well, but I, I mean, I, I, you said that you're getting a lot of the rye notes. I am. But for me, I'm getting way more bourbon than I am any of the rye. But let's see what a drop of water does. It's all bourbon. I think you mean more corn, maybe, or bourbon notes. I'm getting more bourbon than rye. I'm getting more stronger bourbon notes than I mean. Usually in a high rye, yeah, I get a lot more rye notes than I get bourbon notes. Hmm. This right now is water is vanilla saltwater taffy, lemon saltwater taffy. All of the taffies that are from salt and water are in here. It did bring out some of that lemon. Um. The vanilla and lemon that you that you said, I get that on the nose. Mm -hmm. Water cracked up the peppers. I love that. A little too peppery for me though. Mm -hmm. I, I like this whiskey a lot, but it is too peppery for me. Oh hell no. Mama like the peppers. Mm. Well for me. Yes. Apple a day, Gene, an apple a day. Apple a day. I'm gonna I'm write this funny. one apple. Because I didn't even know I was going to get candied apple on it because it's not in my notes. Oh. But I wrote, I drew you a candy apple. Yeah, I know. So if I don't pay attention to, to my whiteboard here, she draws stuff on it. Some appropriate like an apple. Others, not are so much. fun. Others are fun. Fun indeed. Yes. Now this is a 90, easy 90, Jean. Oh, I, I bumped it up. Did you not? I 91, bumped, look at you. I bumped okay. it. Well, that's probably on account of the too many for me and just right for you pepper notes. Love that pepper. This is my solid. Goodness. If you guys were in Kansas. My, and my tongue is having a party. You're not, not invited, apparently. I, I get that. <laughs> so many jokes. You can leave them all right there. You can leave them right there. <laughs> you guys are driving through Wichita. Stop at Central Wine and Spirits. Talk to Jeff. Tell them Gene and Charlie sent you pick up this bottle. Gene, I think I paid. I know I bought this. Ooh. So I went in there to get a, a, an Evan Williams white, and uh, I think it was Chris, I forget who it was, said, hey, you tried the new, we just got the new store picks in, you want one? Yeah, I think he said, and I think I paid 59. What did I pay for? Well, I have 50 written down. 50, even better. Yep. Even better. Absolutely yeah. worth 50. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Good job, Jeff. Good job picking like this it. out. Like it a lot. Uh, anything to add? Just did. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. That was a loud one. Mm, mm, mm. Come good. on, baby. Mm.